trucks leaving the warehouses. Oh, that was Big G Express. This is Costco. Got Maersk over there. Ice Maersk. All right, everyone, welcome back. We made it out here to New Jersey for a pallet auction. There's the warehouse. People show up with trailers. Well, uh, we'll see how this goes. Cardboard out here. Let's, uh, let's buy some pallets. Mystery pallet day. Okay, so I made it back home. It's now time to look at the wonderful things I bought on the pallet today. Uh, not a lot of pallets. Um, something's going on with this company. It's it's very interesting. So uh, this was the only lot that was nothing but bins. There was maybe two or three pallets that had some boxes on it. And then there was four or five pallets which were nothing but furniture. So they advertised, well, they didn't really advertise much, but... They said there were 75 pallets. There was a total of 11. So um, I talked to the auctioneer about it. And uh, he said when they called or when he called, it was somewhere between 50 to 100. So he said it'd be 75. And well, this is what happens when people pay up. So uh, this is what I bought. I spent $50 for it. Whether or not it's good, whether or not it's bad, this is the only option. So here's what we got. Hopefully some goodies. You got $50 in bins. Have to say it, include it in every video. Uh, but let's see what we got. So let's knock these out. So 50 bucks. I do believe there's some clothes. Uh, some of these are marked, so this one's not marked. You can smell it from here. <laughs> I laugh because I'm like, more shoes. What the heck are these funky looking things? What brand are those? Do we have it? Did you say made in China? All right. Now we have some Converse. What are these things? They're also just made in China. Th this is like sock. That's like sock material. Never seen that in my life. You must be pretty cheapo kind of sneakers or whatever. You probably, well, maybe they're not. And these are actually kind of cool. Look like they're in really good shape. These are Vans that the shoelace has definitely molded itself to. I don't know if these are worth 50 bucks being used, but uh, I can knock off a couple dollars here, maybe 20, hopefully. I don't know what that style is, the skull. High top skull Vans. So that's the first bin. So I think the van should pay for a little bit of the trip. Also kind of neat to have these bags. They're almost like the Ikea bags. If you guys uh, do the buy and sell stuff, you see the Ikea bags like everywhere at rummage sales and flea markets. Very similar, but they have a top. So that's kind of cool. All right, let's open up another bin. I guess I can go through every bin on camera because I don't think every bin is going to be completely packed. In fact, it seems like they usually don't pack these. This one's kind of heavy. It's marked shoes and coats. If shoes and coats are actually shoes and coats. Oh, another one of these bags. Ooh. I see video games. Holy smokes. So, no shoes, no coats. Holy smokes, there's a lot of video games. Oh, wow. Xbox One Justice 2. So that was marked 2019. Far Cry 4. Gears of War, Doom, DS games, that's in there. What the heck, Nintendo DS. Let's see if it's in here. No, not in that one. Usually uh, DS games are never in there. We got Tomb Raider. If you're into video games, you're probably liking this. If you're not into video games, you're probably like, move on, move on. So all like Xbox One games. 
I think that's last generation if I'm not mistaken. Mortal Kombat. There's an Art Injustice. Wow, there's a lot of games in here. Wow. Alright, so we got a bunch of video games. That'll knock off some money there. I mean, probably my... I'm being very honest here. Probably my pallet's been paid just with this one. What's in there? Darksiders 2. Something just popped out. Tekken 7 and Mad Max. So I saw Mad Max somewhere. Saw Mad Max somewhere, so it probably goes to whatever case, but that is not shabby. There's probably $50 in games there, even though I think it is last gen. That's not too bad. Probably be easier just to do it. I don't really have space. I could probably push this stuff back. Make space, right? Make some space. Close. Did everyone say close? I don't think this one. Number seven. It's all like they're underwear. It's kind of weird grabbing that. Thankfully, I have gloves on. Jeans? Whatever the heck brand is, X004 Skater. Uh, maybe it has the brand right here in the middle. Collusion. Never heard of brand Collusion, but it's first for everything. Ooh. PlayStation 3, missing the top. Probably all the ports. like kids clothes what a combination so you got some more dollar clothes and a playstation 3 which may or may not be busted right there crazy how much these video game systems cost when you buy them brand new and this year's model or last year's model or the model from three years from now wow the next bin in the list ooh Guess jeans. It's guess coming back. These bags don't like to stay open. So we'll do that. Now it's probably all dirty. So it seems to be more like adult clothes. Riverstone. It's a fancy tag on it, but no price tag. Riverstone. Close, close, and close. These might be sheets right there. That has that uh, very distinct smell from a storage unit. So this stuff, I mentioned a handful of times in these videos, is a storage company. This is no different than buying a storage auction unit, or storage unit and auction. It's just everything is stored on a pallet. Get a lot of questions and comments. This is for martial arts, tiger school. Yeah, so this is just literally just stuff that's stored in a warehouse on a pallet. Similar to a storage auction. So that's clothes. But those are adult clothes. And it's marked bathroom towels. Hmm. Well, we're down to four bins, five, six bins. This one, I actually just peeked through, did a little bit of research. Or not research, but open it and it looks like more clothes so I know we did back-to-back -back clothes bins I didn't want to bore you of more clothes this looks like it's going to be even more clothes in fact they even dump this guy out there's more of those sheets must go to a set I want to say I just caught a whiff of it but I can smell it this is just more underwear I don't even know if like I don't even know if that would even sell I know if you donate it they do take them I know the thrift store takes them i don't know if they take men's underwear um maybe they do but i know if you donate them to like the drop-off bins they say that's perfectly acceptable because i think most of those bins are actually rag houses just kind of going off my limb rag houses or houses that sell 
clothes to certain people who want certain clothes. Like if you're a vintage dealer, like they'll separate some stuff and you pay a flat fee. Um, but I've never really got too much into that business. But we have four bins to continue on with this video. Um, very cold out as well. I mean, obviously we're in winter here. Tough to sell this stuff given that it's now winter. Um, but it's cold out. It's not exactly warm. It'd be nice to have a nice heated area to go through every single thing. Maybe next year I'll even rent a storage unit. That'll be exciting. What do you think about that? All right. What is this marked? This is definitely not in here. Kitchen glasses silverware. Ooh, silverware. But spelled sillerware. You're missing a V. Bowls, cutting boards. And it says FBA glue. And I would kid you not, it's probably just more clothes. Can never go based on what something says. That's more clothes, it looks like. That's a shirt, button up shirt. Stump this out. More clothes. Huh. So my intentions were to go to Columbus and then have clothes out on a table with all clothes being a dollar. If you need a shirt, I mean, this is Uniglo. It's actually a fairly expensive brand if you ever been to a Uniglo store. This is, thank you for not smoking. Um, what's this? Oh. It's a mask. Um, but I don't know if... I mean, I think shirts would always sell. Shirts always seem to sell. People just like to have a t-shirt. Um, I don't know if socks and all that would, would go too well. But yeah, I plan on putting all my clothes, especially all the clothes I've been getting from these pallet auctions, into bins like this and just making a row. Um, if I can organize it a little bit better, that'd probably be even easier. Like, probably not by size, but... A penny add that to the collection um but by style like t-shirts jackets sweatshirts i think that will have to be the the way to do it with all these clothes so we have three bins of clothes just right here this one says books every single one has these bags wow what is going on? Sweatpants. Azozo's design. Quicksilver. Pants. More pants, these look expensive. Sean John. Were expensive at one time. I think all those brands from the uh, mid 2000s are coming back. So that thing's made by King, unless that's a King sheet. Yeah, just clothes, more boxes of clothes. Okay, down to the last two bins. This one says duvet bath mat hangers. Um, but we've seen so far that a lot of this stuff has been unmarked. Also, this is the first time I bought these bins at the pallet auction and they haven't been zip tied. So one thing I've noticed with this auction is a lot of stuff is still taped up. It's zip tied together. These green bins, for example, have always been zip tied. When I was there, I thought it was a little fishy. Um, and I was the second person in the door with the first person only being like, I don't know, five feet in front of me. Uh, and the auctioneer said he didn't do it himself. So I uh, just thought that was kind of interesting to note. Um, but this is also the first time I've ever been at this place where they give these bags out, which is bananas rules and regulations. It's got a nice gnarly like whoop there. MTA. It's got to be early 2000s with the bus looking like that. That screams like 2006, 2005, maybe 2003. Has water damage. So MTA. 
revised November 2003. It's got a lot of damage, but something like this, you can't really get that often. Um, in fact, this might even be only limited to either people who go to, like, school for MTA stuff, or um, if you work for them, like if you're a bus driver or uh, operate the subway. So that's kind of cool to have. A little bit of damage, but I'll have to look that up and see if it's worth anything on eBay. Like I said, I paid 50 bucks for this pallet. The clothes alone between three bins and what I have $50 in clothes. Uh, no so far, no home runs, but I guess we're down to two pallets. That I can't get. Complimento de something from Dominican Republic. It's all massive. So this stuff is just couple bucks here and there like i guess that flea market stuff so far it's been a while since i've had um i guess ebay quality stuff these are all a bunch of different i guess wall hangers are different kind of birds i guess that would go on your wall you hang it up it's a bird that might be an eagle is it some sort of painting oh no that's that's not a painting it's just however it's made it's a print so the flea market, oh, there's another one of this, the flea market bin. That that might go online. I've never had one before, so I wouldn't know. In fact, I don't even know where these people get half this stuff. But like I said, it does get stored from a company. So people all over the United States, mostly in the Northeast, who use this company would store stuff. This stuff is not just local in terms of the town that it's stored in. So that's pretty cool. Put that aside so I know to look it up. Then we're on to the last bin. Some jewelry down there. Some more jewelry to add to the jewelry collection. Is this a jacket or pants? It's a jacket. Look at that acid fade to it. It smells wonderful in case you guys are wondering. Stuff like this, they get stored for a while. I don't even know what tag it is. I mean, that's that's worn off, and that thing's starting to fall off. As you see, it's all dirty back here. That's prior from, like, just neck sweat and whatnot. It says, today's news. Today's news. That might be the brand. I haven't heard of it. It's very vintage looking. It's almost quilted and denim mixed together. So that's pretty cool. Here looks like a peacoat, maybe? That's what that looks like. Got to bring those back in the style. They were hot for quite some time. Made by Brittany. Made in USA. Dry clean only. Dry clean only. Now we got some more clothes. Aha. Strike Donald. Some Donald Duck thing. Oh. This is really cool. Uh, it's probably sold at the store. Is that a back patch or is that just... Oh, it's a bowling shirt. That looks huge, though. No, it's a medium. What the heck? What was it? Disney catalog. I thought it said Disney costume or Disney cast. It's a bowling shirt for Donald Duck. If there's anyone in the world who needs this, I guess it's me. That's really cool. I'm going to wash that because... Oh, it doesn't smell too bad. It smells kind of like a... I want to say from a storage unit, it kind of just smells like uh, it's been stored. So that's actually really cool. I'm going to have to see if that's even worth money or should I keep it. It's a bowling shirt, though, and I don't really go bowling that much. Hey, look, more underwear. And then we got a Rolex watch. Just kidding. It's a Regency, and it looks like it's completely broken. And a pocket knife with a spider on it. That's pretty cool. That is really cool. I, I, I don't know what to say with it. Sports Yank. It's got some cool patches on it. I like the back patch, especially. It's on the inside. It says, awesome. Cool all day long. So we have all of these bins here. They're now put into storage. Uh, I am taking down the bin... Of the video games, the jacket, um, and uh, going to see if those are worth anything. But 
uh, yeah, I got a lot of sorting to go through for the rest of, uh, I wouldn't say the rest of the holiday season, but definitely on a warmer day, I'll sit down and definitely do some more sorting. Uh, but thanks for tagging along, everyone. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely hit the like button, subscribe down below. I don't know when the next pallet auction will be. It's been very, very difficult to kind of get, a, get in contact with this company uh, trying to go to the pallet auction um, because they keep switching auctioneers and then it's just a whole fiasco itself. So stay tuned. Hopefully there'll be another one next one next month, but I don't know. It's been fun. It's been fun buying these storage units. Stay tuned for more adventures going into the new year. And uh, thanks for spending your day with you, or thanks for spending your time or your day with me. It's been on. Awesome. It's it's been awesome. So greatly appreciate. It. Catch you guys next time. If you guys enjoyed. Subscribe down below. Hit a like button. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.